Hi guys, today I want to make this little cross with you guys. Uh, it's cubic right angle weave. Um, it's best done actually with wildfire uh, with a 13 needle, but I'm going to use a size 10 needle, John James and a regular fire line. Uh, that's cubic right angle weave. It might be a little bit difficult. I made another cross. Let me just put them right next to each other. I made another tiny cross. Uh, this one can be found on my Etsy page. I will leave a link for that underneath the video. This is way easier to make and they go like 30 minutes and you're done. So you can make a lot of these. These take a little longer to make. Okay, so uh, and if you don't know how to do your cubic right angle weave, then this one is a very good alternative to do so. I have been on a little cross streak for the last couple of months actually. I've been designing crosses. Uh, oh, I also did that tiny cross. I did it a size bigger and basically what I did was just make the, the beads that I used for this tiny cross uh, one size bigger. Okay, so that's a little bigger. Um, but this looks much better than this. I have to admit that this is way more flexible. Uh, it might need something else in the middle to kind of make that more sturdy. But I haven't gotten around to that. I just basically did the little tiny cross, which is very sturdy. And it just, you know, it doesn't fall down. It's very uh, straight and sturdy. So, okay. Anyway, we're going to do the cubic right angle weave one. This one. And we're going to start with four seat beads, 11-0 on the needle. And pull that down, leave a little bit of end tail, and go through all these seat beads again. So we're going to go pick up the first one again, because everything will be more tight. And then we're going to do our cubic right angle weave. So we're going to go into the next one. And we're going to pick up three 11 O seed beads. And we're going to go into the seed bead that we're coming out of. Okay, now we're going to turn that. And we're going to move forward into the next. See, this is the previous. Right one, right here, right here, and now we're going to go into the next one. So this is like your middle, we're going to work with that. Go into that seed bead right there. I'm going to pick up two seed beads, and we're going to pick up that seed bead from the previous one that you added, and we're going to go into the one you're coming out of with your thread right there. So basically you're going back around in there. Okay, I'm going to turn that a little bit so that we can see which one is next. This one is next, right there. Pull that all tight. Pick up two seed beads. And now we're going to pick up that one that is on that side. And we're going to go into the one that you came out of. And then we have one left, which is this one. And we already have a side one and we got a side one here. So we're going to pick up the last one. And we're going to go into, oh. And pick up that last one. And we're going to pick up that side one very carefully. Now we need to do one more because we need to close the top. So we're picking up one and we're picking up this side one. And we're going to go back into the one that we came out of, which was this last one, and back up the side one again. And then we're going to pull everything together. Okay, so we're going to pull that tight. You got a little cube and you're coming out on the top. Now this top is still open. Okay, there's four seat beads here on this top and they're still open. So we got to close that. So that's we're going into the top, coming out right here of this seed bead. Top, top, one, two, three, four, 
And then you got them all, but to close up this circle, you have to go into one again. So that's five, okay? When you start, when you go in there, you just count five. As soon as you go into the top, count five. Okay, we're going to pick up one little bugle, three millimeters. We're going to pick up an, fifth, uh, an LF now. And we're going to pick up another bugle. So we're going to do a crawl with a bugle. I'm going to go back into this top one. I'm going to try and hold it like that and see if you can see the top ones real good like that. Okay. I'm going to get that end tail out of the way. Okay, so we got that one. Now we're going to need the next top one right there. I'm going to pick up a bugle and an 11 O. And we're going to pick up that bugle, that previous bugle, and we're going to go back into that. 11 O that we came out of. Okay, next one on the top is this seed bead. So we're going to pick up a bugle again and an 11 O, and we're going to pick up this bugle and we're going to go back around into that seed bead we came out of. And I'm going to make sure that everything stays on their own side, right there. And that means that this seed bead right here, that top seed bead, is the last one. Now you already got bugles on all both sides, so all you need is a seed bead on the top there. So I'm going to into that first bugle. I'm going to pick up a seed bead down in that bugle. into that seat bead again that you came out of. I'm going up the bugle because I need to do my top right now. So these four are the top. So that means one, two, and you can spin it around if you want to. It doesn't matter. It's what works easiest for you. Three, four, and five because that's where we began. So that's where we're ending. Next, you're going to pick up an 11-0 a 15 O and an 11 O and we're going to go back in there and we're going to do that crawl okay so 11 O 15 O picking up that 11 O and the next one and picking up 11 O 15 O picking up that 11 O through the one that we came out of and the last one and then we're going to go up the 11 0 we're going to add 15 0 to our needle and we're going to go all the way around till we are on the top okay now we're on the top and we're going to close that up one two three four Five. And you might need a 13 O needle for this later if you can get through there. But so far I have been able to do okay. Okay, now we're going to do a round of craw with 15 O seed beads on top of the 11 O. Okay, so three going into the next one. Picking up two. Picking up that previous one. Picking up the next one, picking up two, picking up the previous one and the one I came out of, and then I'm going to pick up the next one, and I'm going to go up. And once you get a hold of this, um, and then one, and then all the way around, and up. And close the top one, two, oh, one, two, three, four, four, 
in five. Okay. So I'm going to close you in a little bit. There we go. Now we're right here. And we need to do the sides, or you can do the top first. But I think as long as you come out of the sides, you don't want to go through seed beads more often than you have to. So that means I have to work back ways now. Okay, so I'm going to go and pick up three and go backwards. And I'm going to move into my next seed bead. So it's just the same, only backwards. And then pick up two backwards and then into the next one pick up two pick up the previous backwards and then do my last one right in here into here picking up it's wonderful when my husband flushes the toilet we can all hear it going back around going to the top now if I want to work forwards I can instead of going in here I'm gonna go in there okay so one, two, three, four, five. Here I'm going to add the bugle, seat beat, bugle again. Bugle, seat beat, bugle. One, two, moving forward. Bugle, seat bead, picking up the bugle, back into the seat bead I came out of, and into the next one. Bugle, seat bead, bugle, seat bead, less, bu uh, less seat bead, and then you can see you got like four on there. So that's when you close up one, and then that last one, all the way around, back to the top, out and around, one, two, three, four, and five. Now we have to go over here so we need to go down and into that seat bead because you follow the, the, the beaded path into this one and into that one if you want to work forward so got one side right here and do the next side which is basically the top so one two, three, and back in there. Next one. One, two. Pick up the previous one and back in there. Next one. One, two, pick up the previous one and back in there. And then we're gonna go into the front one 
and I'm going to pick up the beads to add the last one to close up this cube. Okay, and then we're going to go in there and in that middle, I'm going to go back up top, get that hair out there and then close up the top. One, two, three, four, and five. So now we're going to do the bugle one again. One, two, oh, three. That's the first one you start with three. Into the next one. Bugle seat bead 11, all oh, into the top again. And the next one. Bugle seat bead, pick up the bugle. And into that one, and then make sure that all is well in the world. And then pick up that last one on the top or on the bottom so that we can close up our top right here going around and one two three four and five now we need to go all the way through here to here so that's going to be a little bit difficult not really we're going to go and move forward two more we're going to go and move down we're going to go move to the side into this 11 o and we're just going to work backwards so you just follow the beaded path and it doesn't matter how you get there just follow the beaded path one two three pick up that one pick up the front one one two pick up the last one here and the front one now you gotta look really carefully Gotta pick up that silver seed bead so that's the good thing about the 15 o's we now added 15 o's so you know you need to go through the 15 o's instead of the 11 o's if this was all the same color and the same size it would be a little bit more confusing okay last one to close up the cube up pick up this one that one 11 o again and that one and now I'm just going to close the top like that it's going to go forward one two three four and five okay bugles again one bugle, one seed bead, one bugle. One, two. One bugle, one seed bead. Pick up the bugle into the seed bead. Next seed bead. Bugle, seat bead, bugle, seat bead, and close that up. One, two, at that last seat bead there, and go around to the top. And we're going to go and close that up. One, two, 
three, four, five. Okay. Now we're going to add 15 O's in between our top. One, two, three, And then we're going to pick up this one and we're going to add one 15 0 right there on there. And we're going to pick up this 11 0 like that so that that's in the middle. And then pick that up again and then go into that 11 0. We're going to go down in the bugle. We're going to add two 15 0 seed beads and we're going to go into this 11 0. Next, we're going to pick up that 11 0. And to make sure that that's all tied together, we're going to pick up a 15 0. And we're going to pick up that 11 0 again. Pull that down into that next 11 0. Tie that down. And you might get a little bit of a distortion in there, but once they're all done, they pretty much will all look the same. Pick up two seed beads, fifteen o. go down that bugle, two seed beads, fifteen o. into that next fifteen o, eleven o. and here we're going to go around again. We're going to go in there, don't add the seed bead until you have gone into the top. Now we're going to add 15 of seed beads on the top again. All the way around. One, two, three, four, and that one in the middle. And then seat bead, seat bead to into the other side, picking that seat bead up and into the 15 0 again. I'm trying not to get in between any threads that are already there. Pull that tight, and it's nice and cute and adorable on the middle. Okay, now. This is where we are, so we're going to go move down. We're going to add two seed beads, and we're just going to basically do what we did here. So, two seed beads here, and two seed beads there, and then we're going to pick up that one right there. I'm going to add that seed bead right there and we're going to go around in these two seed beads and then tighten that up. Come on now. There we go. Tighten that up. I'm going to go pick up two seed beads in that direction. And we're going to go in, in there. And we're going to add the four seed beads, or actually five seed beads again. One, two, Three, four, five, 
four and one crossing over and back and back into the front And we're here so we're gonna go down that bugle and we're gonna do this also you're gonna pick up two more one two that one pick up that seat bead on that side and then one around up oops sorry two seat beads and up, in, and at the five, one, two, three, and four. And crossing over into that same seat bead and back into that eleven O and down and two. And the other one and the end till and one oops something happened there that's not right I'll get that out I'm kind of stuck behind the threads of the bugle you don't want to be doing that so that means you got to take this out It happens. Trying not to get stuck behind threads that are already there in here. And then one in that eleven O back in there. Oops, sorry again. That camera is a little bit close to my hands. And then into that bugle again. And we already did the rest. Okay, so now we're going to cross over to the other side. And we're going to go down. And we're going to do exactly the same on this side, only when we get to the top here, we need to add a little loop. Okay, so two seed beads. And into, into that one right there. Picking up this one. Adding that one, picking up that one again, and then pull my thread through a little bit, adding two, up, make sure you try and get out in front of those seat beats. into that seat bead 
Now we need a loop up here, so we're going into this seed bead. And we're going to pick up, um, I think, nine, eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can hang a chain on there. Go back through there. It's got to uh, be big enough for a chain. Go around again. Through all the seed beads. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes. Nine. And then that silver one again so you got like two and then you'll have like a, a nice loop to put a chain through and now we're going to get back into the seat bead and work our way to the other side and you can pick up the 15 O's for this if you want to Okay, so that's a 15 O and a whatchamacallit, and then we're going to go and down. And we're going to add the two 15 O's in here. And then we're going to go there. And then we're going to go pick up this one. And we're going to go around. And then we're going to pick up two again. Into this bugle. Make sure you come out in front of that 15-0. I got sticky hands by now. It's kind of warm in the office. Pick up the 15-0, uh, the 11 -0. down, my god, that end tail is really annoying, and then we're going to pick two in there, pick that one up, No, stop it. And then we're going to pick up that 15 0. We're going to go around. I'm going to pick up two into that bugle. And we're going to pick up two into that 11 O. Move over that 11 O. And we're going to pick up another two. And we're going to pick up that one. And we're going to pick up that one. And we're going to pick up one around. But you don't want to be stuck behind these two. Make sure that you're not stuck there. Okay, so. And I'm going to add the last two. Okie dokie. These are the last two. You can now go into your 11 O. Pick up the thread very carefully from the 11 O's. And then pull that through till you get a little loop. And then 
carefully pull that through. Go into the next 11 O. And then if you don't see any knot coming out, then you can just kind of zip off that thread. Okie dokie. And then basically you have to do the same thing with the bottom thread. Under the threads, little loop, go through there, through, and cut off. Now, this is how it looks with Fireline and that looks pretty good. You can hang that on a uh, on an uh, On a cord and it will be just fine, but When I hold that up straight When I hold that up straight, let me see if I can hold that up straight Okay, when I hold that up you can see that that's kind of bendable And I got it by the by the bottom right there the last cube look look now this one is done with wildfire and let me just kind of hold that right there and this is this doesn't bend back so this is wildfire in a size 13 john james needle this is fire line with a size 10 john james needle and if you compare them if you compare them Flexibility, no flexibility. <laughs> if you compare them, and even if you try and straighten them out, well, you can still put this on a on a on a cord. You know, it's it's gonna look good on a cord, isn't? There's nothing wrong with that. But you know, if you want it to be nice and solid and rock hard, this one. Okay, now. I'm going to show you a little bit more difference. Maybe you won't see this. You see how these are kind of all solid together? And how you kind of see the gaps notable right here? That's also a difference between the wildfire. You can see this, like this one, this seed bead. It's still, it looks like a little bit loose. And here it's kind of solid. It's in there, you know? So... I suggest you do it with wildfire and a size 13 needle. If you don't have that, then this is also a good option. But at least you know now how to do it, so it doesn't matter which way you do it. Try it first with uh, with um, less of, less expensive thread, and then try it with wildfire. But I have to say that I do enjoy this one. It looks way much more better, and this one is going to be taken apart and probably reused. I can't do that with this one can move it a little bit <laughs> but I can't do this okay so now you know okay uh, well that was it guys and I will see you hopefully next time bye